Hi, my name is Kira and welcome to Mystique and Illusions and also welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing something just a little bit different today. I thought it would be cool to show you guys how I make my props and crowns from now on. So here I'm going to be going over my Winter Wonderland crown that you saw earlier this week. So if you haven't seen the video, go ahead and check it out. It was the last one I just posted and the link is going to be in the description below. All the products they've used today to fabricate this crown are going to be also in the description box below. And let's just get started. Okay guys, let's get started. So here I'm just starting out with laying out all my supplies and what I'm working with here to create this crown. Um, I found these icicles at Hobby Lobby and I just think they were so awesome. Um, they are Christmas ornaments, but we're gonna repurpose them for uh, this crown here. So here I'm just laying um, everything out to see how I want the crown to turn out. Um, I do have an idea in my head at this point while making this, um, but I'm also just playing around with how I want things to lay and where I want them to go. Because um, a lot of the times I'll design a crown and then it kind of takes a little turn in the middle and comes out um, a little bit different than I thought, but it's always a good thing. So. I'm using air dry mold foam from Crayola to make the base um, hold everything together. So I'm just shaping it to fit the um, arc of the headband. And then we're going to reinforce it with some hot glue so it all just stays in place. Now I'm trying to figure out how tall I want the um, icicles to be and how I want them to lay and arc with the crown. Okay, so now I'm going through and um, securing the icicles with the mold foam and the hot glue. So I'm just putting it right around the base and then making sure it sticks to the texture of the icicles because they do have glitter on them. So I got the mold as close as I could to it and then I just used the hot glue to um, secure it. Here I wanted to add these white deer horns, but I decided against them. I think the best part of crown making is um, you have like a small idea of what you want, but it always ends up changing once I started the fabrication process, um, which is always so fun and exciting. Okay, now I'm adding um, silver plants um, just to break up and add texture to the crown. Um, I found these ones at Hobby Lobby again and I'm just cutting pieces off that I like and adding them on. So after adding the last two icicles, I set the crown um, with some other spare icicles underneath it just to prop it up so the mold can dry in the position I want my icicles to stand. So um, that is the end of day one and then I just let that sit for about 24 hours so the mold will dry. On to day two, now I decided to add um, snowflakes that I had already drawn a line to where I want to um, cut the snowflake so it can lay on the side of the crown and fit like the arc of the headband.
I'm attaching the snowflakes with hot glue and using both parts from the piece um, I cut earlier, trying just to utilize everything. Last thing to add to this crown is the silver um, plant, just to fill in some empty space and to add more texture to the crown. Here it is guys, all finished! I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you next week with another video.